Forklifts are widely used to improve the efficiency of logistical distribution systems. However, this convenient transporting machine may be the cause of serious accidents or casualties if used incorrectly. In order to prevent accidents and or casualties, basic operation of the counterbalance forklift is explained in this video. Before starting any operation with a forklift, ensure the forks are in the proper safe position in accordance with the load or type of pallet to be handled. The recommended width between the forks is one half to three fourths of the width of the pallet. When adjusting the position of the forks, place them symmetrically to the center of the forklift. Take extra care to protect hands and fingers from becoming caught in the forks. Before getting on, inspect the front and rear surroundings by indication and vocalization. Mount the seat from the left side. Holding on to the assist grip with your left hand and the seat back with your right hand, place your left foot on the step to get on the forklift. Adjust the rear view mirrors and fasten the seat belt. Use the left side of the forklift to get on and off. Getting on or off the forklift or adjustment of the seat is permitted only when the forklift is stationary. Never grab the steering wheel or any operation levers. Jumping on and off is strictly prohibited. Hold the steering knob with your left hand. Confirm that the select lever is placed in neutral position. Confirm that the parking brake is set. Then insert the key into the key switch and start the engine. Lift the forks 5 to 10 centimeters from the ground. Then tilt the mast fully backward. Depress the brake pedal. Before starting the forklift, always inspect the vicinity of the forklift by indication and vocalization. When safety has been confirmed, depress the brake pedal and shift the select lever into forward. Release the parking brake and depress the accelerator pedal to move forward. Now to right angle turns. Drive forward to the center of the aisle and approach the corner gradually. When the backrest of the forklift reaches the corner, start turning the steering wheel. When the middle section of the forklift arrives at the center of the aisle you're entering, return the steering wheel quickly to the straight position. In addition, beware of the turning radius difference of the outer wheels as it is different from automobiles. Next, right angle turns in reverse. Drive the forklift backward down the center of the aisle. When the front wheels are about one meter from the corner, confirm the corner to turn. Turn the steering wheel quickly when the front wheels pass the corner. While checking the center of the counterweight and the center of the aisle behind the forklift, return the steering wheel quickly to the straight position. When making right angle turns, you must observe the following. If the load blocks your vision, drive backward. If necessary, ask someone to assist you. 
Adhere to the turning ability of the forklift. Drive slowly. Always be aware of any obstacles, personnel, and surroundings. When ascending, drive with the load positioned uphill. When the height of the load is higher than the backrest, secure it to prevent collapsing. Now to loading. Approach and square up to the pallet. Depress the brake pedal to stop the forklift 20 to 30 centimeters before the pallet. Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Position the mast at the vertical position. Lift the forks to the height of the pallet openings. Inspect the right, left, and moving direction by indication and vocalization. Depress the brake pedal and shift the select lever into forward. Release the parking brake. Please be aware of the following to prevent any rollover accidents when loading. Only handle loads which are within the forklift loading capacity indicated on the load plate. Ensure the load is stable. Avoid unbalanced loads. Do not allow anyone onto the pallet. Do not allow anyone underneath the lifted pallet. Move forward slowly and insert the forks completely into the pallet. Depress the brake pedal to stop. Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Lift the pallet to about 10 centimeters above the pallet stand. Inspect the right, left, front, and rear surroundings by indication and vocalization. Shift the select lever into reverse. Release the parking brake. Move backward until the distance between the pallet stand and the front end of the pallet is about 20 to 30 centimeters, then stop. Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Lower the forks slowly until the pallet is about 5 to 10 centimeters above the ground. Tilt the mast fully backward. Inspect the right, left and moving direction of the forklift by indication and vocalization. Shift the select lever into reverse and release the parking brake. Now, on to unloading. Approach and square up to the pallet stand. Depress the brake pedal and stop about 20 to 30 centimeters before the pallet stand. Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Position the mast to the vertical position. Lift the forks about 15 centimeters above the height of the unloading position. Inspect the right, left, and moving direction by indication and vocalization. Shift the select lever into forward and release the parking brake. Move forward slowly till the pallet is directly above the pallet stand. Depress the brake pedal to stop and apply the parking brake. Shift the select lever into neutral. Lower the pallet slowly. Inspect the right, left, and moving direction by indication and vocalization. Shift the select lever into reverse and release the parking brake. Make sure to clear the pallet or load while moving backward. Stop the forklift by depressing the brake pedal when the distance between the pallet stand and the front end of the forks is about 20 to 30 centimeters. 
Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Lower the forks about 5 to 10 centimeters above the ground and tilt the mast fully backward. Inspect the right, left, and rear surroundings by indication and vocalization. Shift the select lever into reverse and release the parking brake. Drive the forklift to the pre-designated area. Finally, let's study parking procedures and getting off the forklift. Depress the brake pedal and stop the forklift on level ground. Apply the parking brake and shift the select lever into neutral. Then, tilt the mast forward until the forks touch the ground. Turn the key switch off. Remove the key. Get off the forklift by placing your left hand on the step while holding on to the assist grip with your left hand and the seat back with your right hand. Store the key in a designated secure location. Forklifts can cause serious accidents. Do not execute any abrupt operations, such as abrupt acceleration, abrupt braking, or abrupt turning. Operation of the mast while the forklift is moving is strictly prohibited. As much as having the accurate knowledge, it is important to be calm enough to follow each and every step, even during busy operations. Observe the basic operation of the forklift and focus on safe operation in your daily working environment.